Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well today I'm going to read a super story called The Man from the Land of Fandango. It's written by Margaret Mayhe and the pictures are by Polly Dunbar. You can see there's the man from the land of Fandango on the front cover with a boy and a girl. Let's find out what they're going to do in the story. It looks great fun. Oh, lots of stars. There are the children, and there's the man, looking very happy. The man from the land of Fandango is coming to pay you a call with his tricolour jacket and polka dot tie and his calico trousers as blue as the sky and his hat with a tassel and all. And he bingles and bangles and bounces. He's a bird, he's a bell, he's a ball. The man from the land of Fandango is coming to pay you a call. Oh, whenever they dance in Fandango, the bears and the bison join in. And baboons on bassoons make a musical sound. And the kangaroos come with a hop and a bound. That looks fun. And the dinosaurs join in the din. Look, they're dancing together. And they tingle and tongle and tangle till tomorrow turns into today. Then they stop for a break and a drink and a cake in their friendly, fandandical way. That looks tasty. The man from the land of Fandango is given to dancing and dreams. He comes in at the door like a somersault star and he juggles with junkets and jam in a jar and custard, custards and caramel creams. What a man! And he jingles and jongles and jangles as he dances on ceilings and walls. And he only appears every 500 years. So you better be home when he calls every 500 years. <gasps> Look, beautiful stars. There's the back cover with those beautiful colours. The back and the front cover. And the front cover. The man from the land of Fandango. What a wonderful man. They had great fun, didn't they? I wonder if you'll see the man from the land of Fandango. Well, we'll see. Make sure you keep your eyes open. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.